Uh, hey, I figured I'd do an update today. So, I mean, I'm also going to do something that's pretty cool if you don't know about it. It's going to be how to make a makeshift match if you don't have any. And I actually have everything right here to do it with. It's safe. Anybody can do it. The only thing I have to deal with is a little bit of a bad smell. But it's not too bad and it goes away pretty quickly cause if you're lighting a candle and such. So I'll start off with the um, the update. Because I'm home alone by myself. Which is why I'm kind of doing this. I'm not really caring about anything right now. Excuse me, I'm just going to get some of that off my nose. Because that's a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, from earlier when I did this. Because you have to use a lighter. Which doesn't really help that you get it, whatever it is on your hand. And if you go touch your face, you get it. But anyway, that's not the point. So, I'm home all by myself. And I'm sitting on the couch. I'm getting ready to go downstairs to go take a shower, which is why my hair is all wet and everything. Because I just got out of the shower and I figured I need to make a video to calm my nerves. Because I'm home alone. I'm not expecting anyone. I'm hearing voices like right outside of my house. I hear a vehicle pull up like right next to my house. About five minutes later, I hear a huge crash. I'm just like, nope. Nope. I'm, I'm staying right here. I'm, I'm not moving. I, I don't trust anything. I'm not trusting anything right now. If they're getting in, then I'll be able to hear them coming through the front door or the back door. I'm not taking any chances with this. So, it just has me like really on edge right now because I'm like, I know I heard it. And now it's just dead silence. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm really freaked out right now. So I've got my pocket knife with me just in case something goes down. I'm, I'd rather be safe than sorry in a matter like this. Other than that, I've had a lot of essays and projects I have to do for school. So that's kind of why I haven't been updating this as much as I should be. Or as much as I used to. So, I mean, yeah. So I'm going to try and show you this trick now. I have a spiced pumpkin Yankee candle, which smells very nice. An ordinary piece of macaroni. And a lighter. The lighter is probably going to take me the most time. Because I'm terrible with them. So, if I can get it to work, I can show you the trick. Because if you're out of matches or you don't have any matches on you, you can just light a piece of pasta. And sometimes I think it works better than a match. Because you can get it actually into the places. And you can light a candle. Or you can light whatever. You just have to deal with a bad pasta smell for a little bit. But, I mean, it's actually really cool. Because I had no clue about this. I don't know how many, about how many of you knew about this. But this is news to me, and I'm like, this is freaking awesome. Now I don't need to worry about having those really long matches that can get into anything when I have a candle that's down to, like, nothing. Because I hate having to reach my hand all the way in there. And you get all the black gunk at the top on your hands. It's really annoying. Like, it just bugs me. I don't know if that's the same for all of you guys, but it just bugs me to no end. So, I mean, I figured I'd show you guys that, because that's a really fun thing to do sometimes. Even though you have to deal with the smell of burning pasta, which isn't that great. But you have a candle that kind of negates the smell for a little bit. <sighs> Spiced pumpkin smells really good. And I just realized how close that flame was to my face and how stupid I am for doing that. I digress though. It's a very cool trick. It's very fun. But yeah, so my parents are up in one of the cities farther way up past our capital, which is Concord because I live in New Hampshire. So they're up past like the middle of New Hampshire and they're going to go see a concert or something and stay in the night and then coming back late tomorrow afternoon dinner time around then so I'm stuck here on my own till then and I am just nervous as hell because my house like I'll eventually get around to doing a outdoors video walk around but <clears throat> we have right behind our house woods 
And in the woods on either side is a path that leads into the woods. And then on the side to the left of our shed, it goes into the woods too. But it walks by one of those huge masses of leaves and like vines and stuff. It's all just creepy as hell. And I expect one day to just look out there, see something in the middle of either one of the two. I don't even care which one. And it's going to be gone next time I'm going to be like, okay, I need to get out of here now. My house is like that creepy to me. Uh, but yeah. I just thought that would be a really cool trick to show you guys. And you don't even really use that much of the pasta. So if you just get rid of the part that's blackened, you can just use it again as pasta. If you really want to. I mean, I probably wouldn't because, you know. But you can probably can. Because I'm sure you'd cook a lot of the stuff off of that by putting it in the water and boiling. The boiling hot water would sear some of it off or whatever. Whatever the water does, I'm not really sure. But whatever, I made it across. Oh, yeah, so I got my hair cut. Probably should have let off with that. I mean, I've had it for about a week now, so I, I've gotten to the point where I think nothing of it. And I forget that people haven't seen it. So, I had my beard like normal. And one of my friends compared me to Krieger from Archer. But all my other friends are like, that looks weird with your short hair. You need to trim it. So I'm like, that's how I felt too. So I'm going to do that. So I trimmed it more to proportionate. I guess you can say proportions. I, I, don't, I made it more proportionate. I really don't know how to phrase it. But that's really all that's been new. Um, oh! Last night was one of the best nights I've had because I went out with my best friend, his girlfriend, and one of my friends. We all went to Red Robin, and those three had never been there before. It's one of my favorite restaurants. If you guys ever get the chance to go there, I will highly recommend at least three burgers to you. The, their bacon burger is really good. The Royal Robin, even though you, if you hear what it is... Which I'm going to tell you afterwards. You're going to think it's kind of gross or like, why would that exist? But what it is, it's in, it's a bacon cheeseburger. Or it's like, no, it's just a bacon burger. And they put an egg on top of it. It's really good. Especially if you get one with running yolk. Because then you can dip your fries in it as kind of like a little something like that. Because it's just like putting home fries into the yolk. It's really delicious. And their crispy chicken burger. Their chicken is freaking amazing. Like, I don't, I don't even know how good, like, compared to, like, every other burger I've had, Red Robin's has had the best. Hang on. Oh, I got my cat here. Come here. Yeah, you're coming into another video. I know. But, uh, yeah. And we walked around the mall a bit. Okay, goodbye. And I got two Minecraft keychain, like, pouches. Like, you don't know what's in it until you open it. And I ended up getting a skeleton and a zombie. And I'm giving the skeleton to one of my friends because he bought me like five Steam games on Steam. I'm like, I've got to do something for him. That's that's a lot to do. That's a lot of money. And um, I also bought a Bioshock Infinite like little statue thing that goes to a game. And they have like blind bags for that. I had no idea that's what it was. I thought it was just like a little statue. Which basically is all I'm going to use it for. And they had like... The handyman, uh, the patriot robot guy. I'm sure they had Booker and Elizabeth. Uh, who do I get? I get fucking Comstock. Like, really? Out of every character that you've gotten there, I get Comstock. I'm, like, seriously pissed about this. And if I thought this through, I probably would have grabbed it and been like, yeah. Yeah, I got Comstock. But, uh, I'll probably do that for the next vlog as I'll show you that. I'm gonna blow up the candle now. Oh, another fun little trick. I mean, it's not, I'm not even sure it's a trick. But it's just a fun thing I like to do. Is you have a candle like this that has one of the toppers that go over it. If you blow the candle out and immediately cover it up, the smoke will just stay inside. And it'll just look so cool in the end. Like this. I don't know how well you can see it, but the smoke just kind of like foils up inside. And then you just let it all out in just one huge steam. It just looks so cool, and it always just amuses me. 
But I mean, that's really all I have for the video. And I realize I say, but I mean, a lot. So I'm, I mean, god damn it. I'm gonna try and stop doing that. Because the more I say it, the more I realize how often I say it and it bugs me. Oh, wait. Backtracking to last night. My friend bought me a League of Legends shirt from Pentakill, which is a series of skins for five of the champions. And I actually have one of the skins for one of the champions, which actually is the guy that's been right here the whole video, uh, Karthus, who is one of the better champions that I am at. The cha one of the champions I'm better at. I digress. Um, fun trick. Sp but you need a lighter, really. Or I guess anything that can really easily start fire. So, I mean... It's really simple. You just have to wait a little bit. And you can tell when it catches. And then you just let it go for like a minute. To make sure it doesn't fizzle out. And then you can use it. It's really fun. Of course, this is coming from a guy who loves playing with matches and stuff. So, naturally, I'm going to find this stuff fun. I apologize that really close to my face, which wasn't even my face. Uh, sorry, my cat's like right under the table staring at me, and I'm like, I just picked you up, what do you want? But, <clears throat> anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys will find that useful. Because I know I've found it useful, and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Because... Using a single piece of pasta and a match, lighter as a match, is really cool. It's really helpful for if you want to light candles and you don't have a match handy. Because in our house, we have matchbooks everywhere, but no matches. So I was going to take a shower, and I love to light candles. Because then you get out and you have a nice smell in the air. You're like, ah, this is relaxing. But we didn't have it, so I'm like, mom... Where are the matches? She's like, oh, good luck finding any. Here, let me show you a trick. So she showed me that, and I'm like, this is really fucking cool. And then tonight, I'm like, you know, to ease my nerves, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to show them how to do this, because this is really cool. So, let me just make sure that that's everything. Yeah, that should be everything. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys found that useful. Blah, blah, blah. Same things I always say. Usual. Uh, so that's it for this video, and I just really said all that. So I will see you all next time.